Okay, okay so um, welcome to tonight's SOAS Centre of Taiwan uh, Studies uh, seminar. Uh, tonight we're going to do a, um, another lecture in our series called uh, Taiwan Studies Revisited. And what we've tried to do in this series is to get um, authors to uh, come back and look at works they published um, roughly at least um, uh, 10 years ago and look at um, how they feel about the, uh, the book um, after the passage of time. To what extent um, does the book still, uh, still work? How was the book uh, received by audiences um, at the time? And how have authors' works in the field of Taiwan studies uh, developed um, oh, uh, since that original um, uh, publication? Uh, we've had a very uh, exciting uh, range of speakers in this series uh, so far with, um, with books that have gone back um, 30 uh, years. Um, uh, for example, Simon Long's um, um, book, uh, Tom Gold, uh, Nancy Guy, uh, my own book, Mikhail Matlin, uh, Henning Clotter. And, and the objective uh, here is to put together a book um, which looks uh, at Taiwan studies and how it's developed through this lens of revisiting uh, classic works uh, in the field. Um, tonight, I'm really delighted to welcome back uh, Christopher Hughes. Uh, who uh, many of you um, know, um, I, for example, if you're at LSE, you may have met him, uh, but many of us know him uh, through his work, uh, because uh, fe he features uh, so heavily in the reading list for a number of our courses here um, uh, at SOATS. Um, his original book um, that he's going to be discussing today, today came out back in um, 1997, uh, Taiwan and Chinese uh, Nationalism. Um, so we have a um, uh, over 20 years anniversary, but um, I should also mention that Chris is a former SOAS student, and so that's going back almost 30 years. 30 years. So we have a, a, another um, um, uh, anniversary. Now, um, when Chris first started studying uh, Taiwan, um, very few people were working on um, on Taiwan in I can think say in in Europe, but especially in the uh, in the UK. So Chris was really um, one of the pioneers in um, uh, UK and, and European um, uh, Taiwan studies. I, I guess along with people like uh, Steve Tan, Chris was one of the first people to actually do kind of serious research um, uh, on Taiwan. And he, I think he had a huge influence on many of um, us who joined the field slightly uh, later. Um, yesterday, um, I was with another colleague and we were talking about our own memories of when uh, Chris's book uh, first uh, came out. So um, uh, my colleague rem remembered reading it as an undergraduate when he was at the University of, of Leeds. Um, when I first became aware of the book, I was still living in, um, uh, in Taiwan and, and starting to think about um, doing a, a PhD. And uh, his book was among the, uh, a number of, of publications that kind of helped motivate me and kind of shape my uh, future research direction. But of course, um, at that point in time, uh, his book was a hardback. Um, and I think those of you that have any idea about academic publishing know how expensive uh, hardbacks can be. So I can still remember... I've got a pirate edition. Um, well, uh, uh, at that point in time, uh, I found the book in Dunhuang uh, Bookstore in, uh, in Kaohsiung. Um, so uh, and then I, I still remember seeing the price tag of $3,000, which... Um, which um, uh, 20 years ago was quite a lot of money. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm trying to think how many hours of Bushi Ban teaching. Uh, 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 so at that point, I, I had to just, just sit in the bookstore and, and, um, and read it. And I, although I probably did later on, uh, I did take the pirated uh, uh, route. Although uh, the one good thing is that actually now the paperback um, uh, is, uh, is out. Um, so uh, in short, um, Chris has both been a pioneer, but he's not... A, He's not only started to develop the, the field in, um, uh, in Europe and the UK, but he's continued. And, uh, and that's why his work, I think, is so um, uh, important. And that's why we're still looking at uh, not only this book, but the way he's tried to develop um, uh, his research on nationalism in, in Taiwan uh, over the last uh, 20 years. Um, Chris has given um, um, many talks at, at SOAS, and uh, um, I think that... That may reflect uh, how many of you are, uh, are here tonight. I, I did warn Chris 
uh, that uh, it could be standing room uh, only, <laughs> and he wasn't really convinced. But I think, uh, I'm delighted that so many of you have made it. Some of you, of course, um, have had um, uh, at least already three hours of Taiwanese politics classes today, and, it, and I'm really delighted to see many of you are, um, are still here, which says something about the quality of, of Chris's uh, work. So let's give Chris another big uh, SOAS um, welcome home. <laughs> 